Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to your sincere Akim out there, pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. I am the brother Shaman of Great Millstone, Chicago. Um, just wanted to bring out a couple of scriptures. Hey, because basically, um, you know, scriptures talk about the Most High would do nothing. But he gives his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. All right. And um, if you're looking for the secrets of this book, you're looking for the uh, the secrets that the Lord has had. Um, if you're looking for, uh, um, you know, what the what the scriptures is about, where the the uh, the Israelites really are. All right. Who, who are the, the, the secret? You know, that's what everything is about, man. It, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, uh, the scriptures talks about uh, parables and dark sayings, right? All right, which uh, in, the, in the Hebrew is chayada, uh, okay, a dark saying, a parable. All right, and that's what it's filled with, man. Uh, like the scriptures say, uh, "What is the name of the Father and the name of, of the Son? If thou can tell, if thou canst tell." All right, which we've been given that name. We've been given both of those names. Matter of fact, we've been given our names as well. We've been given. Uh, the names of our tribes, you know, and ultimately, you know, if we continue in our labor and we're of the elect, we're going to be given the kingdom and we're going to be given uh, control over over rulership, which is the blessing that was appointed onto Jacob. All right. But this is uh, Romans 12 and 11. It talks about uh, being after it talks about being brotherly. It talks about not being not slothful, excuse me, in business, fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord. All right, and at the end of the day, man, this is the Lord's business, you know. Uh, it, you are here for you. You're here to work. All right, just plainly put, we're not, you know, we're not here to hang out or be the the cool guy or you know, which you know, fellowship. Of course, that's part of it. Um, you know, meeting with brothers, getting with brothers. Uh, the scriptures talk about you know, there be a brother, uh, a friend, you know, who is close. You know, what I'm saying you have some people who you just click with. And then, you know, some brothers, you know, you might just do the work and see them, you know, only a few times. All right. It's just it's how the spirit has it. All right. But uh, ultimately, man, we're not here to be cool. We're not here to hang out. Uh, we're not here to, you know, tell a life story and, you know, do all this other stuff. We're here to preach the word. Right? We're, we're here for the Lord's business, man. And uh, part of his business is your sacrifice. All right. Hey, we are a living sacrifice, man, unto this business. All right, we keep this business going. All right, every every business, <laughs> they need sacrifices, man. The business of this place, Babylon, guess what? The sacrifice was hundreds of years of free labor and resources that they, they took from the tribes of Israel. All right? And ultimately, you know, scriptures, we talk, talk about we are gold tried in the fire. Also, the scripture talks about us being those uh, lively stones, us being those jewels. All right. So ultimately, <laughs> we are the, uh, you know, let's talk about where the, the uh, Israel is the Lord's portion, his inheritance. All right. We are, we are his inheritance, man. We are his riches. We're going to inherit all of his creation. All right, and his spirit is going to dwell with us forever, you know, for for uh, all of Israel, ultimately, in the kingdom of heaven. All right, um, and the riches of the earth, ultimately, are going to come to the uh, children of Israel who rule over in our in our kingdom. All right, this is Nehemiah 13, because right, ultimately, um, we're part of a, all these different uh, business terms and all this different stuff. It ultimately applies to the scriptures. All right, hey, you go to the job, you have to deal with certain stuff from your boss, man. You have to deal with, you might have to deal with uh, correction. You might have to deal with um, sometimes, you know, not necessarily liking everything about him. Uh, you might have to deal with um, uh, 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 you know, certain certain uh, knucklehead situations which have to be uh, worked out. All right, it's not going to be a perfect thing, man, but ultimately... You know, this business is growing, and, and, and uh, the scriptures talk about uh, the Lord gives us benefits daily. All right, so this business is ultimately never going to fail. All right, unlike the businesses of this world, which 
You know what I'm saying? Everything you do in this world, man, you need a you need a loan. All right? You need a loan. You need you need a fucking you know a twenty thousand dollar loan, thirty thousand dollars. You need a long FHA loan to get a home. You need a loan, an auto loan. You need a uh, uh, a loan for this. So you can get your you need a loan for everything, man. You got to go for them for everything. All right, these things are given to us freely. All right, freely, and the elect is gonna take advantage and ultimately multiply these talents that were given to us. All right, this is a Nehemiah thirteen. And 30, it says, Thus cleansed I them from all strangers and appointed the wars of the priests and the Levites, every one in his business. All right, so the scriptures talk about business. And right, what is business? Let's see, did I, did I highlight it? See that word there? Okay, the word there is mala, mala aka, mala aka, occupation, work, business. Occupation, business, property, work, something done or made, workmanship, service, use, all right, public business. Right, but that's what's happening, man. We're in, we're in the service. All right, we're in the service, man. That's one thing Jake loves, man. Jake likes to get into, um, you know, Jake likes to invest, you know, go into the service. I, right, you know, postal service, military service, whatever. I you was know, hoping that uh, 20 years down the line they can uh, retire. You know, and they could benefit from being in that service. All right, and that's um, but that's what that's what we're doing on the right hand side, man. The rest of these people they trust in the staff of Egypt. All right, and that's what's gonna happen, man. They're ultimately they're gonna be cheated out of all the work that they put in <laughs> to this place once um, the the money you know loses value. All right, because that's ultimately what the goal of Revelation 13 is to do, man. The the, the beast he has to he has to bring everybody to him. In order to be able to buy or sell. Right, that's why our hearts are not set on our goods. Right, that's why ultimately we use the world and abuse it as pilgrims. Because ultimately, you know, none of this stuff is ours. Right? We don't have any control over this place. We don't have any, uh, um, what do they call it, uh, uh, sovereign, sovereign rights. Right, when you get into some of the elites, you know, they got the summer home right, that they'll have. And they got the winter home, you know, they'll go down to Florida or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they have, uh, you know, this mansion, that mansion, all these different places, you know, overseas. They own property in Europe. They own this property. You know, all these different things which, um, you know, ultimately the, 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 the land rights and the, the uh, rights, you know, to all that stuff is backed up by their rulership. Right, that's what created this entire system that we're in. The real estate and the auto industry, all these different industries, are a result of this B system. All right, that's why overseas, uh, those Idumians, they follow the same system. The other nations who are, who are um, in line with them, who want to make money, who want to come into this system, they're in line with the same system. All right, they got the same stuff, so they can send over there, you know, Toyotas, Hyundai's, all that stuff. All right, they're part of. They're part of, they, they worship this beast. All right, but very soon they're going to turn against him because his system is coming to a close. All right, and that's what's going on right now, man. Russia has a lot of, um, has a lot, Russia and China have a lot invested in these other nations. And so rather than deal with the U.S. and deal with all the hot mess that they have, they do business with them. All right, and that way they can, uh, they, don't, they don't get uh, fucked over as hard. <laughs> Let me say it like that. All right, that's that's exactly what's going on, man. Everybody's in bed with these other nations, and the U.S. is, you know, withdrawing. But uh, like the apostle brought out a couple of lessons ago, we don't have any production anymore. We don't have a lot of production anymore. All right, the food and all that stuff is starting to become scarcer. All right, it's starting to thin. All right, Egypt is starting to wear down, man. The the, the curses and the uh, pestilence is starting to uh, and, and and that that worm. <laughs> it's starting to, to eat, so to speak. All right. And ultimately, man, you know, whether it's Ephesians yeah, 2 and 10, it says, For we are his workmanship created in Yahweh Shah Mashiach unto good works, which the Most High hath before ordained that we should walk in them. All right. So ultimately, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to walk, you know, utilizing the law to the best of our ability. 
Right? And then it even says, wherefore, remember that ye being in t time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. All right? And that at the time ye were without Yahweh Mashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. And um, the, the whole uh, thing of uh, the Gentiles was a precedent for today, where we've all been scattered across the four corners of the earth. Uh, we've all been, uh, we're all, none of us is, you know, in Israel right now, unless, you know, you got certain Jakes who returned there, all right, which they weren't supposed to do yet. All right, which you know, right now is warfare, man. It's, they might they might get caught up, you know, in in the the warfare that's going on. All right, yeah. You know, none of us were born into the, you know, some of us might have been circumcised, but none of us were born into the circumcision. We weren't born into, uh, uh, for the most part, knowing that we are Israelites. All right. It says that at a time you were without Hamashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. I think I read that, but it's worth reading again, man. Aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. And ultimately, you know, Israel is a people before it's a place. So it doesn't matter what you label, you know, that city doesn't really doesn't matter what you do. Because a lot of it's going to be destroyed and it's going to be uh, recreated, you know, again. All right. Because the scriptures mentions... Uh, the company of prophets, 1 Samuel 10 and 10. It says, when they had thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him and the spirit of the Most High came upon him and he prophesied among them, All right? And, you know, you have some brothers who do the work alone. You know, may the Lord bless you. But, uh, for, for, you know, if you're in a, a, a medium or larger group, you're in a company of prophets, All right? It's a company, man. It's a group of people, All right? And that's for the purpose of... Um, edifying and building each other up right this isn't just a you know just a hangout spot you know hey all these different things that we read about man that uh you know even the spartans as tough as they were you know paul you know had to make corrections to them paul made corrections to a lot of the different churches and a lot of the different congregations right hey nobody is above correction right in the company it says a cord rope territory band company, a rope cord, a uh, measuring cord, a union, right? That's what that's that's what it's talking about. A band, a coast. And when I see that, I think of that scripture. It says we're a, uh, uh, what's it say? A, a three, a three. I think it's a three twain cord. Right, talking about those huge cords that they use to hold the ships, right? Those huge, big ass ropes. You know, that's basically what it is, man. It's a bunch of small ropes. And they're wound together. Then they make one rope. And then they wound together. Okay. Then those ropes, they wound together and make that huge rope, which is damn near, you know, unbreakable. You got to set the damn thing, you know, on fire pretty much. And even then it's still strong. All right. That's like us, man. We're that cord. All right. This is, um, well, yeah, Leviticus 19 and 35. Uh, that's why it's important for us to make sure uh, we practice righteous judgment because ultimately, again, this place, you know, they just they just went up on uh, mortgages, right? Then you had, you know, the whole gasoline situation. You know, now you have a lot of products which are not going to reach the U.S., which help them to produce other products. One of them I was looking at, it was, uh, it was like palm oil. All right, and with palm oil, they use a lot of that to make, uh, you know, soap and uh, palm oil is in a lot of our food too. All right, what what they're doing, um, if you if you watch the back, and a lot of our stuff has uh, soybean oil. All right, we produce a lot of soybeans, right, and that's that's on purpose, man. Keep these people uh, dumbed down and, and and feminine. All right, we're not meant to be feminine, though, no, man. We're men. <clears throat> This is Leviticus 19 and 35. It says, You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment in meat yard, in weight, or in measure. Now, this is talking about balances, but ultimately, the scripture is talking about uh, the Lord hates a false balance, uh, the false judge. All right, so you can't be doing all the things that you preach against doing 
but you're doing them, you know, behind the scenes, man. The Lord is going to find you out. The Lord is going to, you know, snuff that candle, man. He's going to take, take you, uh, take you out of the truth, right? And ultimately, if he takes you out, then you would never, you know, amongst the elect, you never, you were never of the elect anyway, right? So it's, it's, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a stumbling block. All right, cause, and Jake, excuse me, Jake is slick, man. What Jake would do, and that's why it's a law, man. What, what people would do, you know, when it was time to measure something, you know, going out, they would they would use a uh, lighter weight, or, or excuse me, they would use a heavier weight, okay, so they could, uh, damn, so they could, uh, uh, you know, say they would send it out more, then they would bring it in, they would use a lighter weight, you know, to say you would give it them less, so they would have to pay for less, all right. And that's what Esau been doing, man. They used to put fucking floor shavings in the fucking um, flour and all kind of shit. That's why they had to do an FDA and, and all, you know, they have, a, a, you know, Secretary of, of State. They do something with the be the measures and the balances and they have to check equipment. And even so, that's still a, that's, that shit is still false, man. It's still corruption. It's still them skimming off the top. All right, this place is full of false balances, man. It's a complete abomination. All right, the fact that they're even, you know, because that's what they're doing now, man. They're holding that reparations out thing, like, oh, uh, we consider it, you know, Tulsa, we consider it, uh, 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 you know, people in Los Angeles, we're considering it, we're studying it. It ain't no considering, man. There's no considering. It. All right, we're going to get reparations, but ultimately it's going to be from the from from the Lord. That's why you got to invest in the right business, man. The Lord's business. Otherwise, <laughs> you ain't going to get paid. <laughs> All right? Because that's what's going to happen eventually, man. These people are going to... They're going to they gonna try to get paid and you can't buy or sell unless... You know, we know what the scriptures say. All right? So I quoted the Psalm 68 and 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the power of our salvation. All right? And the scriptures talk about uh, workmen you know, that's worthy of his hire. Talks about, you know, basically when the Lord comes, uh, you know, blessed is he who, who he finds working. All right, so we got to make sure our work is consistent, man, and continue to do for us, man. This isn't just a, like I said, man, a hangout, a, a, a cool spot, all right? Um, this, yeah, this isn't for somebody who's just looking, you know, just to be a part of something, you know. You and, you know, you and the, I don't know, Boy Scouts, then you were in the gang, then you were in a fraternity. Now, you know, I joined, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a BHI, all right, which you talking like that, that's a red flag in itself, but, you know, this isn't just a thing just to do, all right? We are the Lord's workmanship. We represent him, man. It's us, us it's for us to go into the, the nitty gritty and the details of the scriptures and for us to know all things, man, pertaining to, you know, that all things that are given to us. All right, this is um, Proverbs 23 and 4, all right, 23 and 1. You have to understand, man, ultimately, this man ain't going to give us what, we, what we're looking for. All right, he ain't going to give it to us, man. It says, when thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. And that's what this man gives out, man. His is it's deceitful. You know, he has a system set up, you know, it's not even like how it used to be where you had to go cash a check, you know, you wait in line, whatever. Now it's direct. Boom. Instantly in an account, the numbers pop up, boom, boom, boom. And right, we got your money right there, sir. There you go. And a lot of people, you know, they fall in love with that. You know, you could just do the same, you know, forty hour week or whatever. And, uh, you know, one day, you know, maybe they'll retire you or your 401k, you know, you can cash out on it and then you'll be good. All right. But that's not the case. All right. That's why it says labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom because there's going to come a time where, you know, we're already in a food shortage. There's going to be famine. Uh, there's going to be, and, and there's going to be a famine of the word too, but there's actually going to be an actual, you know, famine is a part of the curses. The scriptures tell you that, man. Famine, lack of water for these people. Uh, uh, ain't gonna be no, you know, police. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's also about you know wanting to go to a city, and you're not gonna be able to. All right, martial law. All right, um, 
all these different things which are coming to bring this society and this kingdom down, right? Which are being stirred up. And, uh, you know, once once they happen, there's no going back, right? There's no going back the old life that we were living, right? In the 2000s, in the, in the 2010s or whatever. It's no, it's no going back to how it was, all right? This is, um, yeah, the things that are happening now are unprecedented in this country, all right? The, the, the currency has been, and that's, that's ultimately what's causing the currency which is a false balance to lose uh, value, okay? Because it was always backed by uh, different factors, man. The military factor, the factor of um, resources and political control and influence, all right? Esau has divisions in his house. Those divisions are getting deeper and deeper and, and more and more. Right? And that's what's causing, you know, con the contention and for their house to be broken up, as it always had, okay? The Romans, they, they were knocking each other off and, and, and those emperors, they were taking each other out. Like, they've always operated like that, but right, but we're not supposed to operate like that. And we ain't we're we're not supposed to be uh, profane, you know, selling ourselves for a couple of dollars and shit, man. That's what Esau did, man. He needed that meat. He needed to eat so bad. He couldn't, you know, he couldn't have uh, fasted. He needed it. Or he needed that food. Let me say it like that. And um he sold his birthright, <laughs> which it was prophesied he was going to do that anyway. All right. Hey, but that's all I had, man. Lord willing, let's edify in all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. May we continue to labor, all right, for the things which are in heaven, which wait for us, man. The Lord has a place for us with many mansions. Shalom.